The Australian Government Summer Schools for Teachers of Mathematics was conducted at the University of New England in January 2008. 200 school teachers came to Armidale to hear presentations made by leading international and Australian speakers and academics in the area of mathematics. They also undertook workshops and tutorial sessions to provide professional development towards building their knowledge and skills in contemporary mathematics. Associate Professor Lorraine Graham was one of the presenters and she presented on a program called QuickSmart. Lorraine, I was just wondering if you could tell us what were the main features of your presentation? Certainly, Russell. Well, my presentation was with um, Professor John Pegg, who certainly had a prominent role in the whole mm -hmm. summer school uh, extravaganza. And it focused on low achieving students in the middle years and in numeracy. And the reason that John and I did the presentation together is because we are co-developers of this intervention, QuickSmart, which really looks at getting students to be more fluent in their basic academic skills. And uh, the program that we presented on was QuickSmart Numeracy. There is, of course, QuickSmart Literacy, but that's another story. Sure. So how was the presentation relevant to contemporary teaching of mathematics? In contemporary classrooms, there is increasing diversity and it becomes more and more difficult for even very competent teachers to deal with that diversity and for some of the entrenched patterns that students may have once they get to middle school. There's also a very important transition for students from primary school to high school and all of the extra demands that high schools yeah. puts on uh, the students in terms of their independence and in terms of assuming that these students do have basic academic skills in place. Right. So what QuickSmart tries to do is to give students enough focused, intense and targeted instruction yeah. that really works from where they are and consolidates things as simple as number facts so that then the main aim really is so that students can go back into the regular classroom and engage with the curriculum with more success, with more achievement and more confidence. Right. So what were the sort of key ideas and messages that you were hoping the participants would take away from your presentation? Right. Well, the QuickSmart intervention itself um, is a program of effective teaching mm -hmm. and effective teaching is core to any school right. um, because that's really the basis of all students progression mm -hmm. but as I said before because of the amount of diversity that we are dealing with increasingly um, it's often important to have some supplementary types of programs that support kids with different profiles of need and that can relate to the kids who need enrichment mm -hmm. as much as to those who need more uh, support in order to uh, tackle what happens in the regular classroom. Right. So really one of the, I think the, the most important set of ideas um, relates to the fact that there can be some sorts of programs like QuickSmart mm -hmm that although they take place in small class settings and um, they're in a very small situation as far as numbers go, yes. with one instructor and two students, um, the fact that we talk about this program extending for up to 30 weeks, mm -hmm. there's enough intensity and duration of instruction to actually make a difference. Yes. So what we can say from the, the years really that this intervention has been going and we've had significant amounts of feedback that, that continuously points us in the direction of believing that the students who do take a program like QuickSmart and they attend and they're given the opportunity to fill in some of their knowledge gaps, what happens is that they can then operate in the classroom with more confidence and with more success as a learner. Yes. So, in some ways, some of the ideas that we talk about in QuickSmart 2, um, they definitely can be used in the classroom right. because they could benefit all learners. It's right. just that some of the students might need some more intense focus yeah. on where they are and where they need to be. Sure. 
Yeah, so this is a, a bit of an interesting difference between some of the other um, input that's come into the summer school where the presentations have provided information that the teachers can readily take back into the classroom and implement. What you've said here is that there's a theoretical underpinning which is relevant in, in teaching of maths, um, but there's also the focus of the special program which needs that sort of intensive professional development of teachers before they can implement it. So is there anything that you'd like to add or focus on that mm -hmm. teachers could take back and implement in the classroom from what they've heard at mm -hmm. the summer school? Yeah, most definitely. Um, thinking about time as a dimension of instruction mm -hmm. is one of the things that we talk about when certainly talked about during yeah. the presentation. So that means that it's not enough to eventually be accurate mm -hmm. with your example, with your mathematical thinking. But it also has to be quick and fast, it has to be quick and smart actually. So it's that combination of speed and accuracy that can be brought into just an orientation yep. about some of the uh, practice activities that might take place in any classroom. Mm. The other thing that comes from the students that we've worked with talking about their own learning is the, the phrase, trust your head. And um, that came as students were beginning to feel more fluency with yes. their learning. But instead of being able to um, own that to begin with, they sort of questioned it and they sort of would say to us at different times, oh, I guessed, or yes. um, no, what happened? It's like the answer would, would come without yeah. as much effort yes. as they're yes. used to. And then all of a sudden it's like I was somehow I don't know, cheating or I wasn't mm. going through all the steps and and it's not usually easy yes. for some students to, to learn. Mm. So this idea about um, encouraging students to trust their heads is really a yeah. valuable orientation again that all teachers can have in the classroom. And it relates to things like um, students being able to explain how they got the answer to a problem, um, and being able to show that different strategies can get to the same yeah. end point. But really it's best if you get the quick and smart sort of strategy mm -hmm. because getting to the end point is indeed an important part of the journey, yes. of the destination at least, but it's the journey, whether it's circuitous or it's direct and doesn't use up all of your energy, mm -hmm. is also important. Yeah. Yeah. And I know that in the summer school, the idea of working memory was definitely a focus. Right. So again, yep. Quick Smart is about this idea of automaticity so that things become quick and smart and it does rely on a theoretical base that has working memory mm -hmm. as an important part of it through information yep. processing. Right. Models of learning. Good. <laughs> now, obviously on the website for the summer school we'll put up um, background information about Quick Smart. Are there any other sources of information? So you've just mentioned about working memory. Are there particular uh, references or sites, websites, or anything that you might recommend people have a look at in addition to what will go on our summer school website? Okay, well, that's, uh, there's been a number of um, opportunities. There have been a number of opportunities that have been offered to both John and myself to write about QuickSmart mm -hmm. in recent times. So. I think as well as um, the SIMA information and the Quick Smart information on the SIMA website, it would be really good if I put some links up to those papers. Sure. Yep. Because those papers then show how we've drawn on various sources of um, information in order to put the program together mm -hmm. and to explain it in terms of you know, some basic ideas to do with working memory. Right. All right, well, Lorraine, thanks very much for your uh, presentation or your, your interview here today and sharing that information. And um, <laughs> we look forward, I'm sure, um, that the teachers will look forward to seeing that and following through a bit further. Thanks, Thank Russell. you.